I had the greatest childhood growing up. I grew up in Valley Stream, Long Island. Yeah. Long Island Railroad. Isn't that awesome, man? You go to the city. You're always so afraid to go to the city. Dude, you're not going to this. You're not driving to the city. Oh, no. I wouldn't drive to the city. No, I, uh, you get dry humps. <laughs> pull out of your car and they dry hump you, man. <laughs> Take the train. Hope I don't have to change it to Jamaica. <laughs> White dudes know what I'm talking about, man. They are scared of Jamaica. Oh, well, we're going to change it to Jamaica, man. <laughs> I'm going to change Jamaica, oh my God. I'm going to be dry and sore to death. Oh, my God. Jackasses. <laughs> but Valley Stream, Long Island, I used to love playing stickball. I never see kids playing out in the street anymore. We would play outside all day long. What was cool about my neighborhood, there was like about 10 of us growing up together. It was like the little rascals meets good fellas, you know? <laughs> And it was. It was like six years old to like 12 years old. And we'd always play stickball. And this one little kid, Tommy, he was that one kid that always wanted to play with you. Hey, man, can I play? Can I play? Come on, man. I'll play in the outfield. Tommy, get off the street. No, I'm going to play right here. Was... When you're older. I'm old enough now. Man. <laughs> you hit a foul ball. Like, I'll get it. I'll get it. I got it. I got it. I got it. it <laughs> would go in the sewer. Tommy Black. like, I'll go in the sewer. And you'd dangle him by his feet. I got it. I'm almost there. I got it. Rat to it. Get out of here. I'm not afraid. <laughs> but we had this, this one field where we played. We had this dog, Duke. You know, the one dog on the block. And it was a big, long yard. And Duke was the dog that was nasty. You knew if he got out of that fence, you were gone. But you tease him to death knowing he can't. You drive on your bike past his gate. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but what sucked about Duke was every time we play, you know, every time we play stickball, we'd be in front of his house. So if you hit the ball into his yard, game is done. Jeffrey always hit in the yard. We're like, Jeffrey, don't swing on an inside pitch. Because if you hit in there, I'm going to punch you in the head. I'm all right, I'm all right, just hit it. And so sure enough, one day he's hanging out, and Tommy's like, hey, get like in the outfield. Tommy, just sit down. Bink! Jeffrey hits it into Duke's yard. We're like, Jeffrey, you suck. Come over here, I'm going to punch you in the face. I didn't know it was a foul ball. Get over here, I'm going to punch you in the face. Punch him in the face over a 75 cent ball, but that's the way we lived, baby. <laughs> he shouldn't have swung at an inside pitch. <laughs> but the worst was, so now the ball goes in, and Tommy's like, before we can say anything, I'll get the ball! I'm like, Tommy, no! And he hopped over, and he starts running into the yard. I swear to God, I'm not even lying to you. And he starts running in, and Duke is nowhere to be sound. We're like, Tommy! Tommy, watch out for Duke. Duke said, get out of the yard. Get out of the yard. I got the ball. <laughs> I got the ball. Tommy, he turned around and Duke saw him. Duke went, what's up? <laughs> Start running, Dick. <laughs> I swear to you, now Tommy's only six years old, man. He's only this big. And he starts bulking it. It's like a movie. He's like, and we're like, Tommy. Hurry up! Throw the ball over! Hurry up! Hurry up! Throw the ball over! Hurry up! <laughs> Tommy's running. Duke, I swear in my life, I was never so scared in my entire life. Duke is not even barking. He's just at this. I'm gonna eat you to pieces and then crap on your face when I'm done. And I swear to you, Tommy's running. I got my hand out. Tommy, come on. Tommy, it was, it was like a movie on my life. He slipped. And like his face hit the fence. We're like, oh no. And we all back away because here's Duke. Duke comes running up and he stops right in front of Tommy. And I swear to you, it was the scariest moment in my life. I was already figuring out how am I, I going to forget it. All I can do is watch. It's Duke, I ain't gonna help him, man. If I got a stick, I'll help him. 
Duke stopped. And Tommy's like, eh, eh. He starts sniffing him. And then all of a sudden, Tommy gets up to make a break for it. And Tommy's only this big. Duke gets on his hind legs. I'm not lying to you. This is a horrible, horrible sight. I, I'm not even exaggerating. On my child's life, his two front paws grasp on to Tommy's shoulders, knock this poor kid to the ground, and starts dry humping the crap. <laughs> And this is like Tommy running. He likes me, hugging me. He likes me, he's hugging me. I don't drink anymore. Well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink heavy anymore. I used to plow. Plow. <laughs> I used to drink mind erasers. You ever hear them? Oh. I don't know what I was thinking. It's like vodka, Kahlua, and soda water in a glass like that with a straw, and you have to suck it down as quick as possible. <laughs> Which is fine, but like three minutes, you know, all the carbon monoxide takes your liver as a like, <laughs> To your burp. <laughs> but you have like two of them, then you find out why they call mind erases. Your mind erases all communication and the rest of your body. I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> But to me, you know, if you drink and you're over 21, you get hammered. It's goofy. You're dead drunk, man. I'm that guy, too, I have to tell you. I'm wasted, man. Are you guys wasted like me? Because I'm wasted. You're not wasted? How can you not be wasted? Because I'm like, okay, let's say this is hammered. Let's say this is like, whoo, look out. And let's say this is wasted. I'm like... Look out, Hammer. Take your shirt off. But to me, the only time when drinking is fun, which it is fun, is when you're a kid. And I mean by that is like 15, 16, because then it's like an Olympic event. There's all these little rules and stuff. It starts right away at your mother. Come here. Who are you hanging out with? Now, these friends you hang out with, I don't like them. Do you understand me? They don't even introduce themselves. They just drive right up and beat the horn. Ma, they do not. You don't even finish the sentence. Brother! Let's go, Hammer! I'll be back later, Mom. You get in the car and your friends are gone. They're peeling out in your neighborhood. Chill out, it's a neighbor. Shut up, Barry. <laughs> We're supposed to be home now. <laughs> and never pass out in front of them. They're just right, you know, uh, they'll write all over you. I crap in my pants. I love crap. I crap my pants. I love eggs and snot. Whatever. They'll dump you right in the front lawn at the end of the night. <laughs> the worst, though, is my mom, boy. Did not want to wake her up. She drank gin martinis before she went to bed. So if you woke up her in the middle of the night, it's like startling a monster. So I'd be like 16, just hammered. And you think, you're so smart. I'm cool. She'll never figure me out. And I can hear her snoring. Uh-oh. And I'd always wake her up, I'd always like somehow wake her up. This one night I finally got in and I got into my bed. You know that feeling as a kid, cool. You sit down, but then all of a sudden I saw the door open up behind me. <laughs> Baby Subuki man. She come in the doorway. That was the worst, thrown on trial. What the hell is going on here, 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 here?
Hey, love. <laughs> you smell like alcohol. Oh, 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 oh. How do you do that echo? <laughs> Let me ask you something. And you better not lie, 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 lie. Enough with the... Oh, man. How many tricks do you have? Honestly? Maybe one? A lot of you are wondering, uh, what's with the band? It's had a new baby girl. <laughs> Stick that, you pooper. <laughs> the baked goat is apparent. <laughs> yeah, it was a good delivery. Now, I'm my first kid. See, this is the thing. What I learned, this is what I learned about life in general. If you want to experience life or you want to make a judgment on something, go experience it. Stop watching videos. Stop watching TV. And stop reading parenting magazine. They leave out a lot. <laughs> of real life that you're not prepared for. No, this is what to expect. This is, that never, ever is real life. And you never know what's gonna happen. You never know. You can't be going out drinking, getting hammered, smoking dub. <laughs> I'm gonna be your dad. <laughs> Could be right now. Because <laughs> you never know when you walk in, boom, it starts. So I walked in, it was late at night. I came in, I hear like a I look around, I'm like, hon, and she's in the bathroom, hovering over a toilet seat, with her panties down. Oh, oh, God! I feel like I have to crap! There's all this pressure on my ass, I gotta crap! What's going on, man? <laughs> I got a crap and there's nothing coming out! Oh my god, this hurts! Get out of my way! I gotta crawl! I gotta crawl! I gotta stick my hands up in the air! Oh my god, go inside in your closet, get the bat, and hit me as hard as you can! <laughs> How do you respond to that? How do you respond to another human, let alone the mother of your child, telling you point blank, my ass is falling out. Help me out. And I'm looking at her, I'm not lying to you. Her ass was falling out. That was not fun at all. As she started shaking, she's hanging out. I'm not talking like it's a little cold out. Like, oh, I didn't get my jacket. Well, it was, it was cold out. I'm talking like a cow pride. <laughs> <laughs> Ass is flying all over. <laughs> yeah, it's funny now. She started pushing. <laughs> And that's when life hits you. When you see another child, another human being, start to come out of another human being. <laughs> when the baby first comes out and you see it, that's when it's like an overwhelming spiritual... Like, And just as fast as that happened, my kid went right back in. What happened, man? You don't like me? What happened? My baby got stuck. No, my kid is stuck. Ass is falling out, have a bat like this. Now my kid is stuck. So she has to start pushing. And now my only option is they go, well, we can cut you. 
uh, or we can use a suction cup. <laughs> now I'm thinking, a hospital, I don't know much about hospitals, I think a suction cup, that's the latest technology, right? It's a guy with a plunger. <laughs> this guy comes in like, oh man, what's going on? <laughs> Just sit back there, Carol. What do we got, a fire? <laughs> oh, this son of a bitch is a fighter, I'll tell you that. I got all day, hot shot. <laughs> and what it is, the plunger is like rubber on the end, and they actually plunge it, and they suck onto the top of your infant's head. Now, you don't notice, but an infant's head is not fully developed. It's mush. And they tell you that. Listen, when your infant comes out, the head may look. <laughs> may look a little off. So you start thinking of your friends, like, well, Larry's got a long forehead, but he's a cool guy, man. <laughs> so, but with a suction cup, they... <laughs> Stretch your head out. I'm not lying to you. This is what my baby's head. The head. <laughs> and your wife's like, oh my god, is she beautiful? <laughs> She's gorgeous. I think we should homeschool her, you know? Before you even have a kid, though, you got to make sure your life as a partnership is together. The word marriage, this is the new generation to start things over. Forget the word marriage. It's misleading. It's television. Marriage, you think of, oh, we're going to get married. Oh, and you think wedding magazine. You think of a woman naked on a horse, you know, <laughs> throwing roses. <laughs> Of love. We're gonna have a dog and it's gonna poopy in the front lawn. It's gonna be great. <laughs> uh oh, rapids. I'm jumping. <laughs> you gotta hang in there. So, the new word, and this one's much less misleading patience. Because that is what marriage is all about. It's about being patient. Who can you be patient with the rest of your life? Because trust me, at least with the word patience, you know you're going to fight. Oh. <laughs> you're going to fight like animals. I'm telling you. <laughs> Should we this big? Get right in your face. <laughs> She'll take Nana's special pillow. You're going to fight like animals, but just know that's okay. That's okay. I, look, I'm not going to lie to you. I've been on TV. I make okay money, been in films. I still spend at least once a month in my garage just with a wrench and a pole venting. She'll come right after you. You lost your patience. What's the matter with you? You want what whole neighborhood to hear how crazy you are? You're banging a pipe against it? What does that make you? Oh, you're strong now? Get in the house and stop being a slob. Everyone's gonna think you're nuts. Go inside, please. Get inside. You got it! Here's a cop-out. 
This is a major cop out. The passion's gone. I haven't had, we're not passion. No kidding. <laughs> When's the last time if you were dating more than three months, I'll give you three months. When's the last time you made out and dry humped? <laughs> Do you remember how exciting that was? Just hanging out in the front seat of a car? <laughs> You're not even naked. She touches the back of your head. That's the baddie. Girls, you don't want us to start dry humming. Don't touch the back of the head. And you're on the console. Just dry humping the console, huh? Oh, oh, oh God, I love you so much. I love you. Spit all in each other's face. Oh, God. I was supposed to be at work two hours ago. I was supposed to be there yesterday. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. A lot of different events led up to that moment. Now you start being together a lot. You know, you get lazy. <laughs> you, the minute when you're sex, is losing the passion, and you know when it's losing that passion, is that time when you don't even care. You come crawling into bed at night, your pants aren't even unzipped, they're like unbuttoned here to help your belly breathe. <laughs> Down, your shirt's not off, and you come crawling in bed, she's like reading. Are you horny? I don't know you. All right, well, shut the blinds. Okay. That's not the way I like them. They're facing down. <laughs> What's the difference? Because if they're, if they're facing down, you've got to be in a plane driving by in order to <laughs> see you. And I think the chances are like, hey, can't believe we're going to Florida. Oh, my God! They're doing it! Hurry up! Look down the right side! Are, are you crazy? Never mind, I'll put the blinds the way you like them. <laughs> put the blinds the way you like them. Come crawling back in bed. You think you're in. And then again, you get something even worse. This is the worst. When you get the sniff. How degrading is the sniff? I'm crawling out. She's... <laughs> what? Is that your acid smells or your... F stand in front of a full-length mirror in the bathroom just wiping you. You're still into it, right? How do you have I'm tired. <laughs> you gotta keep so that's when you know you're losing patience so you gotta you know what you gotta do guys be clean. Once in a while she's not around get a vacuum. Do it the way you want. <laughs> I like to clean on the couch, man. Yeah, but I don't. <laughs> Do a little, you know. <laughs> she will come home. She's like, oh my God. All the drawers are shut and your clothes are put away neatly? And did you... <laughs> did you clean? Yeah. The little vacuuming. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. What's that smell? Come on! <laughs> I was always into like hard rock growing up, man. I loved 80s metal. Oh. How did I not? Rob Halford of Judas Priest, boy. He'd come out with his leather pants on and just, just scream. <laughs> That's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. And the most fun band I've ever seen is ACDC. If you've never seen ACDC, go see them. The guys are 50 years old. Yeah, Larry. Can you like a little, just like a t -t 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 -t. Yeah. 
ACDC, first of all, the guys are like 50. And none of them are above, above like three feet high. <laughs> Angus Young, we're out of hell. <laughs> but the best is Brian Johnson, he comes out. <laughs> they could take any song, they all sound the same. It's always the same concert, but it rocks. They could take the hokey pokey and tear it up. <laughs> they gotta come out like, put your left foot in. <laughs> Keep your hands covered! I'm not gonna turn! 